Well, folks, I finally did it. After decades of trial and error, I finally cracked the code and I designed the perfect morning routine. And there is no excuse for not doing this routine. After all, it only takes three hours and must be completed before 7 a.m. for it to be effective, and it only requires a series of exclusive supplements and ridiculously expensive gadgets. And while I'm not at liberty to specify the entire routine as I plan to sell these secrets in a new book and online course, here are a few examples of what it includes. An IV drip of athletic greens, a five minute naked cold plunge, a 90 minute hot yoga class, running 12 miles, barefoot, reading two entire books, meditating for 45 minutes, locking your phone in a safe, taking a 15 minute power nap, writing 10 pages in your journal, hiking to the top of a mountain, oh, and eating a completely organic, cage-free, farm fresh breakfast. If you aren't fully committed to doing these things every single day, then you clearly don't have what it takes to be successful. You're lazy and you don't want it bad enough, and you will never, ever be a gazillionaire. <laughs> I'm obviously kidding, and I hope my sarcasm was obvious, as I parodied our society's infatuation with morning routines. When I wake up, I make a beeline for sunlight. My normal morning routine. So every morning starts with a run. Not even glance at my phone. Do some power poses. Like a morning routine is something that you do that will set you up to win. Despite my satirical attempt to poke fun, I do believe two things very strongly. Number one, morning routines are important. Number two, there is no such thing as a perfect morning routine. What you do each morning lays the foundation for how you'll feel and how productive you'll be for the rest of that day, mentally, physically, and emotionally. So you need to be intentional, but keep it simple. Be practical. Do what fills your bucket. Morning routines should be individualized to your age and your stage in life. What works for me may not work for you. What worked for me in my 20s may not work for me in my 40s. What works for a single 32-year-old man that lives in Southern California may not work for a 42-year-old single mother of three in Minnesota. So don't compare and despair, and definitely don't get stifled by perfection. Life is not a perfect game, and there is no perfect morning routine. My advice, do the best you can with what you have, wherever you are. Be kind and be patient with yourself. Be aware of how your morning routine makes you feel and over time, try to incrementally, systematically and progressively do more of what works and less of what doesn't.